What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Will Carter and if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Before we go any further, make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already and also make sure you're hitting that bell notification icon. Make sure you turn it on so that you get alerted each and every time I make an upload. You don't want to miss this good content and if you guys want to keep up with me off of YouTube, you can follow me on both of my social media accounts, Instagram and Twitter, both at I'm Will Carter. All the links to my social media pages will be linked in the description box down below for your convenience. I am a little bit late to the whole Soy 10 AccuBlend drama, but bitch, I'm here now. If you don't know, um, a representative from AccuBlend, I don't think they made a statement. I think they replied back to someone and stated that there is in fact paraffin in Soy 10 after soy scent has been advertised or marketed as a hundred percent natural so yeah people were mm -hmm. this new information had the candle making community in an uproar i mean like the facebook groups were going wild people who are candle makers were dropping videos and i figured that since you know i use soy 10 well, I wanted to give my thoughts and opinions about the situation because I do have thoughts and I do have opinions. And who the hell is going to deliver their thoughts and opinions the way I do? Like, who's, who's going to be so dramatic and extra and over the top and constantly on 10? Like, I don't know that there's like one through nine. So I want to tackle three points. First, I want to talk about this information that I found online related to Soy 10. Then I want to talk about how I feel about AccuBlend. And then finally, I want to talk about what does this mean for me and you using soy tan going forward so let's start off with the information that i found that really has me looking at everybody like who lying i went to um west coast candle supply because that's where i got my soy tan from and where i plan on continuing to get my soy tan and they kept their description the same but they did include in parentheses Per manufacturer AccuBlend, they recently announced there is a small amount of paraffin in soy tan as a binder for the ingredients. So basically, um, AccuBlend, bitch. But I ended up on CaliforniaCandlesupply.com. Now, I don't actually shop at um, California Candle Supply. No particular reason. Just never made my way over there. Um, but I wanted to see what everybody was saying. You can go on their website and read this for yourself, but this is what they said. The manufacturer of Soy 10 has released a statement claiming that this wax now contains a small percentage of petroleum byproducts that are used as a binding agent for their blend. Now contains, so it didn't contain it before, okay. Please note that we have thoroughly discussed the contents of this wax with the manufacturer's upper management. Who's upper management? What's her name? What's her ad? What's her username? Some candle makers are incorrectly stating that this wax contains paraffin. Sadly, they have been misinformed by representatives as the petroleum contents are not classified as paraffin. Who's the representative? What's her name? What's her username? We cannot go into detail about the petroleum byproducts that are used as these are considered proprietary, but we will be adding on a renewed certificate of analysis for our customer's review directly to this page in the very near future. You can't discuss? Okay. As the manufacturer is stating that they now use these as products in their blends, we will no longer consider soy tan an all natural wax and we have changed its classification. Yeah, that was a lot. For one, I don't believe most of this. Not that California Cannabis Supply is lying, but because I don't need to hear what AccuBlend said from you. I need AccuBlend to put out a public statement stating this. Please, I don't want to hear it from you. Ain't that hearsay? Don't judge Judy say you can't talk about hearsay. But let's just go with this, right, and say, upper management did clarify who the fuck is upper management but let's just say upper management did say listen it's not paraffin the representative did not tell the truth we fought her ass and she gone we're using petroleum byproducts what the fuck is petroleum byproducts i definitely feel like this information really does throw a wrench in the whole drama simply because it's like the whole drama was about the paraffin and now they're saying it's not paraffin but again it's hard to like go off of this because accublend didn't state this they, California Cannabis Supply said that AccuBlend's upper management stated this, but I didn't hear that from, I need to hear it from AccuBlend. AccuBlend, what's your name? What's your username? What's your number? In my opinion, I think we all should continue through this situation as if it's paraffin until AccuBlend comes out and says to us from their mouths, 
or their finger keyboards to our eyes, I guess. Who is this upper management bitch? Now, I want to talk a little bit about um, how I feel about AccuBlend. Uh, yeah. I don't like AccuBlends anymore. Well, I didn't care about them before. I just like their wax. But now, like, knowing them and acknowledging them as a business or company or whatever, I, I don't like I don't like them. AccuBlend is selling you a product that they're saying is paraffin free that really is not paraffin free just because they want you to buy it. And I don't like people who do shit like this. I mean, like, I know it's a company, but like, there's a person who makes these type of decisions at this company. And I want to know what her fucking name is. What is, who is she? Now this ice cream truck know damn well that ain't no kids in this neighborhood. So why does she keep coming every fucking day? Can we please do us all a favor and just keep it fucking 100 for a fucking millisecond, please, bitch? The whole reason why people are even using soy wax is because we were trying to get as far away from paraffin as possible. I mean, that was the whole fucking point. So why the fuck would AccuBlend market their product that has paraffin in it to a community that is primarily looking for wax that's paraffin free. Bitch, I find AccuBlend to be shiesty as hell and like just fucked up for like playing people like that because I mean, come on now, you know, you know. Let me just be honest, not that I'm anything but. I wasn't really completely surprised by the news. Now I was surprised that it was paraffin. But I wasn't surprised to know that they that there was something in there. Like what is what, what, what the fuck did he say? Uh, petroleum byproduct? What the fuck is that? But I'm not surprised. I I just I knew something was in there. If y'all don't remember, I started out using 464 soy wax, and I didn't like it. It didn't work well for me. I didn't have good results with it. And for everybody that they're talking about, like, oh yeah, I use 464 soy wax, and I have a great hot throw, bitch. You're lying. Where? Uh, what, what's your what's your website name? Talk about one of your 464 soy wax kids so I could test this theory out for my fucking self. You know damn well this shit don't have a good fucking hot throw, bitch. And according to Candle Science, even though I don't fuck with Candle Science because you're not going to disrespect me with those motherfucking shipping prices. According to Candle Science, their 464 soy wax is an all natural soy wax. Then again, I don't know if I trust none of these motherfucking hoes. So the fact that when I got that soy 10 and it performed so differently and so much better, I was convinced like, oh no, there is something in here. If this 464 is natural, ain't no way in hell that this soy 10 is 100% natural. It worked too good to be natural. So I kind of knew it all along. I just didn't think it would be paraffin because again, like they're marketing it to people who are looking for like all natural paraffin free candle wax. So I just, I, I just didn't think it would be paraffin, but I knew it was fucking something. Bitch, you know I have a 98% correct accuracy. So considering the fact that I kind of knew that something was in there, I'm definitely not changing my wax. I don't have to like AccuBlend to use their wax because I definitely don't like those hoes. But I definitely will be continuing to use Soy 10 because Soy 10 is in, it's an incredible wax in regards to how well it works and how well it performs the way we want it to. I have good surface, it's smooth, the hot throw, cold throw, everything about it is just everything that you want in a wax. So she works. I'm currently using a Coconut 83 and Soy 10 um, custom blend. And um, I believe that AccuBlend even stated that the coconut waxes do also have paraffin in it. I don't remember. I don't. I don't know if I saw that. But girl, like I said, I don't trust. They all probably got something in it, bitch. The manufacturers and the suppliers, they need to do a better job with transparency. I, like seriously, like they need to be more transparent with what they're selling us, right? Now they don't have to be super transparent to the customers because the customers are not buying candle wax from them. They're not buying fragrance oils from them and jars and wicks. They're not buying anything from them. They're buying it from us. So when they start having questions about what's in their candles and why it's doing this and why it's doing that, they're not contacting y'all, they're contacting us. So please be more transparent with us so that we know what we are selling to our customers because I will find you. So it all boils down to this. We don't know if it's paraffin or this petroleum byproduct. I'm gonna need for AccuBlend to put a statement out and just clear this whole thing up. What the fuck is in this damn soy 10? I also need AccuBlend to acknowledge that they're a bunch of shifty scheming ass hoes because they know what the fuck they were motherfucking doing when they didn't tell us they the motherfucking paraffin and motherfucking wax bitch or petroleum byproduct, whatever the fuck it is, y'all need to admit that you were like, you need to admit that you're a bitch. And last but not least, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world that it is in there. The problem is really the fact that like, they were saying that it was all natural when it really motherfucking wasn't because I'm still gonna use the soy tan and I think you guys should too, unless 
you're like real keen on I need my wax to be 100% natural but good luck finding that anyway now that we have arrived here to the end of this video as always make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel hit that bell notification icon on you want to get alerted when I make uploads and of course follow me on my social media pages leave a like for this video and definitely Definitely drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think about this bullshit that AccuBlend is pulling right now. And with that being said, I hope you all have a beautiful good morning, beautiful good afternoon, and a beautiful good night, whichever part of the world you are in. Bye-bye, I'll see you on the next video.